conference dinners. Error din, eh, no? 
would like eight. Okay. So those are things that put that in the e, e, no win, no? Para ma-ensure na maging reliable ang mga codes na ginagawa natin, no? mga ginagamit natin po. What are part to check codes? These are the... Uh, a party check is just adding an uh, extra bit on that and the kind of is and digits and dulo para ma check even or odd. Kung ginagamit mo code ay even parity, kailangan yung bilang ng ones even. Kung ginagamit mo odd check, party check code, yung bilang ng ones dapat odd. For example, Kung yan yung code natin, gusto kong gamitan ng even parity check code. Since yung lahat zero, walang one, di ba? So even yung number of ones doon, zero. So idadagdag kong digit sa kanya sa dulo, zero. Yung zero, zero, one, one, the second code doon sa C, there is an even number of ones, so idadagdag kong digit sa dulo, zero pa din. Yung pangatlo, since merong isang 1, so isadagdag ko digit sa dulo, 1, and so on. So we complete that. That's an even parity check. So that when a message is received, at alam mo even parity check ko so yun, pwede mo lang bilangin. Pag naging add yung number of 1, so ay may mali na dyan. So mati check niya kung ang number of errors na nagbago ay Add, add number of errors. So, ito na may add party check code. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng repetition code? So, dun sa party check code, it's just a glance. Hindi ko natin. Yung message na received, may error ba yun? Paano natin mag-check? Kung even or party check code, bilangin nila yung number one. That's one way to detect error. Repetition codes? Well, we just repeat a bit to so isang digit several times. Do that for all the digits that you have. Para pag may nagbago dun sa isang digit, halimbawa, yan, you want to send a message for C, repeat E, five times. Repeat every digit five times, or in this case, every letter five times. So, pag nang nangyari, nabago yung last digit, naging S, Alam ko na D dapat yun. Kasi majority ng limang sunod-sunod na digit, D. So ang pag-decode natin, sino ba yung mas maraming digit? Sino ba yung mas maraming uh, majority dun sa block na yun? Bawin, first block, that or P. Second block, tatlo R, dalawa S. So by the majority decoding, ang isipin natin dun, ang, me, ang bit dapat na yun ay R. That's a sense of repetition code. So, sa terms of ones and zeros, why do we repeat every bit by twice? So, in first zero, nagita lang zero. In second one, nagita lang one, and so on. So, ito yung magiging code word mo ngayon, instead of the original zero one one zero zero one. Umahaba lang, no? So, kung mahaba yan, ibig sabihin, dumadami yung chance mo na pag-detect at correct ng errors. Pero ano yung catch nun? Kung mahaba yung message na pinapadala mo, it costs more. It will cost you either time, money, space, and storage, and so on. So, okay nga na makapag-detect at correct ng madaming errors, pero at what cost? So you have a, you need to have a balance of the two. Well, the way to decode repetition code is by a majority decoding. Tinga. Kung yan yung message na pinadala, and this is what you receive, then the <coughs> third, alam natin ito, yung pangatong batch, dapat all ones. And the last batch of digits, that okay. all zeros by the majority decoding. And so forth. Okay. So the 
yung last approach na pwede nating gawin is through the notion of distance. So, sometimes, ang idea natin, ano ba yung pinakamalapit na message tulad nung naka-jumbled na letters? Pero naiintindihan natin. Pero alam natin first at last letter ng word na yun, kahit na in between, kahit na gaano ka jumbled ang gawin yun, mag-reconstruct natin ano kay pinaka-best possible na word na meron na maiintindihan natin dun sa message na yun. Well, I'd like to think that we're using having distance here. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng having distance? So, ang idea lang dyan, pag ito yung message ko, tapos ito yung na-receive niya, syempre, of course, kung ako yung receiver, hindi ko alam kung ano yung message talaga na pinadala niya. Ang alam ko lang kung ano yung meron sa akin. Ito yung receive code word. Well, ang gagawin ng decoder, kung ang gagamitin niya ay notion of distance, ano kaya yung pinakamalapit na message dun sa nakuha mo? Paano yung titignan yung distance na yun? I-define natin po yun kung ano ibig sabihin ng distance between code words. Ang uh, idea lang yan, hindi lang mo. Since pare-pareha sila ng dami ng digits, bilangin mo na lang ilang beses ba silang nagkaiba sa corresponding digit as a corresponding coordinate na yun. So in the first one, ilang beses, sa ilang digit of place ba, corresponding coordinate pa sila, nagkaiba. So yung magkaiba yung first digit nila, magkaiba yung second, magkaiba din yung third. So yung distance ng dalawang code word na yan ay 3. So binibilang mo lang yung pagkakaiba ng mga corresponding digits nila. So, yung notion ng distance. So, ganun natin tignan. Ay, ito yung pinakamalapit na message a uh, code word doon sa nakuha mong received code word. So, baka yan yung message mo. Yan yung notion ng nearest code word decoding. Hinahanap mo kung ano yung pinakamalapit na code word doon sa nakuha mong code. Boy, pa ba tayo? Well, that's, that's the notion of the third attempt. So, alam natin ngayon na mga kapatid, ka ng error. Bakit? Kasi wala sa listahan may code words. Oh, so, kung ang receive mo code, uh, ang na-receive mo code word ay R, at sinek mo sa listahan mo, wala dun yung code word na yun, alam mong merong error na na-commit. Paano mo ngayon i-cooperate yun? Paano mo i-interpret yung message na yun? One way of doing that is using the, na the nearest neighbor decoding. But what's the what's the drawback here using this kind of approach? Ano ngayon kung meron ka ng dalawang code word na magkasing layo? O magkasing dami ng pagkakaiba? Well, that's when your decoding fails. And that's how our things <coughs> work. One thing scratch Madedecode pa niya yan. Bakit? One, ilang beses inulit-ulit na nakasave yung message na yun dun sa CD. Okay. Some scratch, hindi niya dun sa particular portion, mawawala by the scratch, pwede pa niyang mabasa dun sa ibang portion. Kaya kung ang CD mo, may isang portion lang na may scratch, yung ibang part malinis pa, di ba kayo iba mo pag-play mo pa? Ganun yung idea na. This is, an, uh, this, is, uh, this is another example of how do we decode the message if the message, if this is your code and you receive the, the message Y, yeah, what is in la yo? Pero, niya ni alam po, sino pa din talaga ang actual message that I received. The point here is this. Five more slides. So the idea here is this. Alam natin po kung yung distance between code words. Kukuha natin yun. Ang, ang, ang notion ng distance of a code, take note, 
Distance between code words, kinukumpara natin bawat code word, gano'ng malay ang code word sa isa't isa. Distance ng code, ano yun? A code ay a collection of code words, right? So yung distance ng code ay yung minimum distance ng lahat ng possible pairs dun sa code word code mo. So kung ko lahat mo simply pair of code words, ano yung distance sa makukuha doon? Ano yung minimum doon? Yun yung distance ng code mo. Ano yung relevance ng pagkuha ng distance ng code? So, meron, kayo, meron kasi tayo theorem and coding theory na kapag meron kang binary code at ang minimum hunting distance niya ay 2e plus 1. Kaya niyang i-detect yung e error, e errors. Kaya niyang i-correct yung e errors. So kung distance ng code mo ay for example 3, kaya niyang i-correct yung isang error. By this year. Kung ang distance ng code word mo ay 5, ang minimum distance ng code word ng code, ng code mo ay 5, ang e mo doon, 2. So, kaya yung i-correct up to 2 errors. Kung alam mo may 2 errors. And so on. So, when I handled the math appreciation course and got this particular topic, uh, we assigned them some reflections, blog entries. I asked them to create a blog, an online blog, an hard copy, you know, some sort of a journal. And we asked them questions like this. An example exam that I gave to them would be something like this. Some simple codes that I provide just for factual checks. Yung uh, ibang portion kasi na wala ito, yung mga they try to create their own code. As, ano, from their own code, ano yung minimum distance ng code nila, and so on. So yung code ba nila, makakakorek ng ganito number of errors, and so on. Well, uh, this is just a reference kung paano talaga nang work yung mga scenes. Of course, I did not mention all the other types of codes. So if you want to study more, then from probably you might want to enroll in our graduate course, enroll in Edward I think that I am. So or or attend more uh, more lecture series, but basically on the content of these topics. So I think enough that I'm going to give you a resource material to go as a start. I think uh, I would like to end my talk there. Do you have any questions? Yes, if this file will be uploaded to the website. Questions? Yes. Ariliano, what is that? This is just a reflection of what is happening now in the universe. Biblically, people uh, fight for land, and now, scientifically, people fight for space in the universe. And sometimes satellites make us happy because it helps our current lives techno uh, technologically to prosper. But my point, sir, is do we have do we have already this international uh, universal law uh, protecting uh, rights of everyone in relation to uh, satellites? Because every now and then we we are we are having we heard from uh, there are many things happening right now. So even our simple boat is being. Please. So, do we have this uh, universal protecting space of these satellites being used by Filipino or whoever is that? So that this is part of the coding system, correct, sir? Because once the transmission is not correct, or uh, parang parang ginalaw talaga yung transmission, just like what is happening right now. 
to have the things uh, protecting the universal laws for the satellites? I am looking in advance, sir, but I am just uh, seeing you right now. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't want to pretend that I'm the expert on that. But, in my opinion, I think it's like Cooling theory, I think, is just a part of that. But not the actual goal of coding. Goal of co the goal of coding is actually to <coughs> make your transmission me messages efficient. Ma-detect mm -hmm. at ma Hindi yung maitago mo yung information or ma-secure mo yung data. That's the talk for later about cryptography. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, Kakabit yung dalawa eh. That's, a, that's the main goal here. Mamaya makikita natin, bakit ito yung nakailangan paghiwalayin? Kasi mag-iba yung purpose ng isa sa isa. Sa atin, efficiently lang i-send yung data. Yung next talk, papa natin isi-secure, isi-safeguard yung information for several reasons. We have, we will uh, hear about those things later in the afternoon. Uh, possibly parang policy na yun eh, no? Pero, yung mathematical idea siguro ng securing and safeguarding information, yun siguro yung sa cryptography. But beyond that, I think, minsan wala tayo control, parang nasa puro ideal scenario kasi tayo eh.
So this link, yung unit conversion, actually allows you to convert messages, spreading, convert text to binary. So you, can, you can say, mass in a modern world. And it actually converts it to the so, yung URL na yun, pwede mo convert. Pwede din, meron din siyang ibang conversion, no? Sorry, hindi pa na nakita. Paano ba ulit? Maliliit na kalat, kalutin. Kalutin lahat. Word. Kalutin. Pwede nakakalat ko. Kalutin, kalutin. So, yung URL na to, nakalagay din sa PowerPoint. Uh, pwede niya i-convert yung text to binary and vice versa or other types of conversion may or may access to hexadecimal or kind of force mode. So may ibang pang pwede kayo paglaroon. So, actually, may mga exercises na sa book na pinapadecode yung ASCII. So pwede i-try dito. Ano kaya yung message ni Dr. Zabang na sa codes na yun? So yeah, this, this is just one example of a uh, website. Of course, we need an internet connection. Other questions? We need to get a little bit after the process. We need to get a little bit after the process. We need to get a little bit after the process.
and then and then receiving some sort of information and then and decoding them through the cell phone. So you know, the whole process process the communication team, information, global information. So now the only, I, 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 I think what the students would see there is uh, there's not even a piece with the thing.
you let them uh, know about this different math courses, uh, making our modern world what it is today. And maybe in the Not everything in the book, but the thing in the book is so much more than that. So we just take some topics. Is there a teacher's class? Ah, yes, great. Thank you. Yes, the topic shall be with us. Ah, okay. So we can see the topic. Yeah. I'm going to ask you. 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 Okay, so I think uh, if you have more questions, you can ask the author of the book later during lunch. So uh, for now, I think uh, wedding. Okay, this is a certificate of appreciation given to Francis Joseph Campania. Uh, thank you.